morning. So we've been asked why does meth cause psychosis? And of course we're talking about methamphetamine, not methadone, which I wish those two names weren't so close because it is easy to get confused. Methadone, of course, is a treatment for opioids, but methamphetamine, sometimes called ice, uh, is a form of speed or amphetamines that really stimulates the system. They're highly addictive and patients get in, in big trouble. Uh, it's a very addictive drug so, because it gives you all this energy and when people come off of it, they have this profound withdrawal where they've just got no energy at all, what can sometimes go on for weeks and months. Uh, and so it's hard for people to get off and stay off methamphetamine. But why does it cause psychosis? Well, psychosis can happen uh, in any number of states. Psychosis, by definition, is really an out of touch with reality. So people aren't thinking clearly, they're paranoid, uh, uh, they're seeing things that aren't there, they're hearing voices that aren't there, they're just not in touch with reality. And that state can happen from almost, from a lot of different things, from infection, sometimes we see people with a bad infection, sleep deprivation can definitely do it. I was just talking to a colleague who after 60 hours in college started hearing voices. Uh, you can put people in a sensory deprivation thing, and many drugs can do it. In fact, coming off methadone, if you come off too quickly, like you take uh, uh, naltrexone and precipitate withdrawal, I've seen a lot of people go into a confused, psychotic, or sometimes called delirium. Methamphetamine stimulates things so people have all this energy and they can't sleep. And they often go on binges so that they'll use an awful lot for one night, they'll stay awake all night and then the next day, and that can keep going on and on. And because it's keeping on stimulating the brain and the brain doesn't have time to fully rest, we know how important sleep is, then it starts building up and building up. So typically methamphetamine psychosis will happen after a prolonged bout of meth use. Some people think it's mostly sleep deprivation, but I think it's a combination of that, plus the fact that the meth is keeping your brain wired. So even if you do fall asleep, you're not getting restorative sleep. You're not getting the REM sleep and stuff like that. When I was in New Zealand uh, a number of years ago, they were having a big methamphetamine problem, and there was a famous case where a guy had been on a binge for a long time and became extremely paranoid and thought his, his girlfriend was out to get him and was something, who knows, but he cut her arm off with a machete, went to jail. The saddest part is that she visited him in jail a few months later and bought him some meth because she felt so sorry for him. So, tells you a lot about meth psychosis and how horrible the disease is, but also about codependency and how people, you know, react in the, in the, in the, in the face of addiction. So if you've got a problem, please get some help.